Hi everyone, this is Lori the Crafter in the Mitten. I decided to order some things from Timu, just like I've seen everybody else do. I've been seeing a lot of videos pop up on my YouTube um, stream thing. Anyway, so I said, well, I'll try it out. So I ordered a few things. Got the delivery this morning and it's already in the evening and I wanted to do an unboxing for my channel. So anyway, I haven't opened it up. As you can see, I'm opening it now. And I don't even remember everything I, I purchased. I try to find my receipt so I can give you the prices on things and I wasn't able to locate it, which is no big deal. Got the stuff dirt cheap. So let's see, what did I get? Okay. Oh, oh wow, I only thought there was two of them. There's actually four of these. These are like silicone placemats or you can, um, not placemats. Um, you know, you put your pot pan on this pot pan on, like on a cupboard or whatever. Or you can use for pot holders. And they're also good if you do resin. You can put your little, um, like if you're doing, like dome your little necklace or something. They're good for that because resin doesn't stick to, um, it doesn't stick to uh, silicone. Can't even think. So we got a blue one. Kind of a salmon colored one, a gray one, and another blue one. This is kind of a bluish green turquoise, I would say. They all look pretty well. This one has a little hole in it right there, though. I just noticed that. Oh, I didn't expect it to be really high quality, but they'll do the trick. All right, and then another little thing I got. Oh, okay. This is a brush holder. I did get one from the Dollar Tree back when things were only a dollar. It's white. I have a, and this one I think was like 77 cents. So I've used this before. I had to put it together. Sorry for all this plastic rattling. But you just simply put these little legs on. Put them in one of the little slots. And you go like this. And there's three of them. Now, the one I got from Dollar Tree, I ended up gluing it because when you, because it kept falling apart. When I picked it up, it would fall apart. This one seems to snap together a lot better. The plastic feels a little different than the, the one that I got from the Dollar Tree. Except for I say that now. And <laughs> it's not wanting to cooperate to be put together very easily here. Okay, and I got one more. But yeah, this one went together really well. Like I said, the one at the Dollar Tree, I end up gluing it together. I might glue this one together too, but I don't think I have to glue this one. But great for crafters. Well, put your paint brushes in. People use these for makeup brushes or whatever. These are really good for crafters. Paint brushes, um, colored pencils, whatever. And then, oh, talking about brushes. I ordered these makeup brushes because they're really cheap. <laughs> they were like $1.77. <laughs> Everything was 77 cents. I don't know why. Something was 77. So I got these for um, actually for doing dry brush painting because dry brush brushes are really pricey. And I thought, you know, I could try them, see how they work. These look pretty nice for under two bucks. This one's kind of stiff, but make good paintbrushes. It'll probably make a better paintbrush than it would make a brush. Just saying. So you can just put them in here. I'm not sure if you can see it that far away. I'm going to put it over here. That's fluffy. Got the green ones. I really didn't care what color they were. I just noticed if you change the color, the price changed. I got the cheap ones. They're all the same, just different color. So that's what I did. I went with the cheap ones. Like I said, I was planning on using them for paint brushes. I might use them for some makeup. I'm not sure. And here's a little cute little velveteen bag they came in. Oh, and I bought some sets of earrings. I don't remember how much these were, but they weren't that bad. I think they're like six dollars, somewhere in that ballpark. All these really cute bohemian earrings. Now, I haven't had I had my ears pierced and they healed over. I like to get them re-pierced. But the other reason I got these 
because I thought they would be adorable for decorating junk journals. You know how you have little tassels or something hanging off your junk journal? Yeah, I thought that would be really, really cute. I don't know if you can see these these far away. Let me hold this pair up. I thought they'd be cute just to have a ribbon or something and dangle this off with a charm. Book, using bookmarks. They're cute. They'd be cute to wear as earrings as well. And then I got these other ones. All these are like a boho style. Boho style. I really like boho style. These are really cute. Got little beads right here. These are adorable. Really, really cute. Those cute charms and earrings too. These look like they'd be comfortable. They're really lightweight. Surprised. I got such a short neck. I mean, so short, period. -ish. Short body, short everything. So I have to really, when I do wear earrings, I have to watch how big they are because I look like I'm drowning and I'm like the earrings wearing me. But I have, I need to get my ears pierced again. There's another pair. These are cute. They're all kind of coppery looking, which is, I love copper. Here's a little bigger pair. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. These have a little rubber thing to put on so they don't slip out of your ear. Let me see if I can put them in. Let me put those in real quick so I don't lose them. have a little rubber back. These are posts. The other ones were all hoopy like hoops. But these are actual posts. So they give you a little plastic backing. These have the metal ones, but that's okay. Because there's two of them. But like I said, I plan on using them as little tassels on the end of um, decoration for a junk journal anyway. I don't know how many pairs I have here. Let's see. One, two. Eleven or twelve pair. Wow. And I I probably paid like fifty cents a pair or something like that. Oh, these are neat. Those are really neat. Here's the other one. Oh, oops. I'm losing all the little rubber thingies. I don't know if more came with the rubber thingies. I've seen the one. I probably dropped it on my lap for this other one. I'll have to look for it. And then there's these. Really cute. And the quality, I mean, I wouldn't say they're the best of quality, but for what I paid for them. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you figure it out, it's like 25 cents an earring. You, you couldn't even make that for that. You couldn't even go to Michael's and buy a bunch of charms. I mean, there's just no way. If you bought this many charms at Michael's or Joann's or whatever, it would cost you way more than that. I'm allergic to nickel, so I don't even know if I could really wear any of these earrings uh, without having some kind of allergic reaction but oh my gosh those are cute these are these are nice look at the back that's like i can't tell if you can see these or not 
but those are nice. I mean, those, those look like nice quality. You know, if you were just to look at these, they look like nice quality. Oh, those are really cute. And here's some other ones. These are like leaves. Now that I discovered they all got these little rubber things in them, some of the bags have them in there, some don't. I have to quit find them when, we get, when I get done recording here. And here's just like a little simple leaf. It looks like they're um, like Native American type designs. It's like it's like turquoise, but it's not real turquoise, of course. It's like a turquoise, probably some kind of paint, enamel or something. Like this one. This looks like a little tur turquoise stone. But I can tell it's resin. It's really light, really, really lightweight. And who wants really heavy earrings anyway? Those are those are nice. Those would be good little tossels for a junk journal. And these ones, these ones are really interesting. This is the last pair right here. I promise. Oh, Sarah, these ones, the rubber things are coming off. Well, this is really interesting. It's like string art. It's real string. Oh, that is so cool. Oops. And Aunt Beth, welcome. Oh, they're just real. Oh, those are cute. Yeah, oh, those, those are real. Really be cool on the end of a junk journal. Oh, I, I, I like all these. I'm really happy with these. Like I said, for what I pay for them, you you couldn't even buy the stuff to make them. So what else do I have in here? I don't remember what I bought. Uh, what is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. This is a silicone mat. I'm always thinking of how to use alternative things than some stuff you would typically use for crafting this I got the silicone mat because it's good to do artwork on yep that's what, this is for baking measuring out your your dough for a pie or whatever you could of course you could use it for baking I mean I could use it for baking but it would be also good for when you're making resin when you're pouring resin um, or even just doing like painting on your junk journal or whatever you could Put your paint right down on it and wipe it right off. Oh, that's cool. And this wasn't very much at all. Again, I can't remember the prices of things. Um, of course, I'm not a, I'm not affiliated with them, um, with Timu, but there are some some sites that are, or some YouTube channels that are. And so I'll leave a link to the lady I was watching because if you're a first time customer, which I was, I got thirty percent off of everything. So I'll leave you a link, or you can even find them. Sure, just. Look for you, Timu channels, and I'm sure they all have affiliate links. Um, so yeah, make sure you get your 30% off if you're a very first time customer. And then this is supposed to be a rubber apron, which I thought might be handy for a crafter. Um, and you work with paint, it'd be easy to wipe off. It's not really rubber, it's like a nylon. Oh, but the, there's a rubber ring on the back of it. Okay, well that's, that's cool. It's not super huge, but that's big enough for me. I'm not very big. It's got a cloth here you can rub your hands on to get, so especially if you're baking, this would be really good for cooking. You have flour on your hands or something. And then a pocket. I think, I think I paid like that much, like a dollar or two for it. It was like super duper cheap. And I thought, hey, 
for as cheap as it was, I'm going to try it. That'd be just handy to have a whole bunch of these. Like with my ceramic business, I want to set it up to have people come in and paint, you know, like paint and goes or make and takes. So I think I'll order a bunch more of these. That way I can let my um, customers wear them when they're doing that, save on their clothes. And as cheap as they are, hey, and if they wreck one, big deal. And then here's some things for my hair. As you can see, I have lots of hair. You know, whoops, I just dropped one. I have three of these clips. The black, the black, brown, and a cream colored one. And the black one fell on the floor just now. Oh, wow. They're like that. They got that rubberized paint, like some of that soft, it used to be called, well, I used to work in a paint factory, or a factory that painted automobile parts. We called this soft touch. I don't know if it's just what we call it or if that's the real name of it. I got, like I said, I got tons of hair, so I'm curious if that's big enough to hold. This gave a lot of hair up. I mean, I have like a lot, a lot of hair. Uh, not quite big enough for that, but I also cut hair on this, cut hair on the side for family members and that. So I wore out my clips, so I need these for that too. So, good. And then I bought a neck or a bracelet. I thought it was cute, so I wanted to see what it was like. I think these first, I think it was like three dollars, so something like that. Oh, okay. They're like three individual bracelets on stretchy stuff. Now they're the beads are plastic, and the little rom rom nails. I forget what they're called, but the little spacers anyway. And this little charm, it all looks to be plastic. All of it's plastic, and. The cable cord here is like a faux suede and the beads are plastic and I got the one with owls on it. Owls and feathers. I love owls. Love owls. When my owl showed up, we heard her or him the other day and I named my owl Hootie. It was right outside my bedroom window and hoots all night, but it doesn't bother me because I think she's cute. Or he's cute, whichever, so it doesn't bother me. Isn't that weird if you think an animal's cute? It, it's not as annoying. Tighten that up. And I got really tiny wrists. And they're not too awfully big. So if you got if you got really big wrists, I don't know. But it fits me. And then I got a necklace here. Oh, I see the chain's separate. I just thought it was interesting. I think this is like a dollar. Something like that. It was, it was pretty cheap. I'm just going to leave the chain in here for right now. And it looks like a Mandela. Mandela? Mandela and Mandela, how do you say that? That's cute. I'm not sure how long it will be. The chain doesn't look like it would be super long. I don't even know how to get, the, get to the chain. It's bad. The way it's packaged. It's weird. Well, I'll worry about that later. And then I bought this other set of earrings. Again, not really to wear as earrings, but to use them to decorate junk journals. These are really cute. They're butterflies. Really cute. Oh, drop on the rubber things again. It's the back side. Of course, I have two of them. The other one. Oh, I have to look for those little rubber things. They're so tiny. Ugh. Oh, and I got this little stiff. I thought it might be handy for cooking. Sometimes you want to stuff something really, really fine. Or paint. Why is it in your craft room and not your kitchen? Sift paint through it. Sometimes paint gets... In the bottle, it'll get kind of lumpy or whatever. Good for that. Lots of uses for that. And then there's some, I got three or four of these kind of clips here, mainly for doing hair more than wearing. So I think they ought to clip some hair back. I got a few of those. I think like 
when I say a few, I think I bought three. Well, this is neat. This is for a ponytail. I'm surprised how big that is. I got, like I said, I got really thick hair and I was afraid it'd be real tiny. Then I'd have to do, just do this part up here. But I think I could probably get all of my hair in there. The thing I'm concerned about is my hair tangling in these little things here. I don't know about that part. I don't know how it would have to be like this. And that'd be underneath your ponytail. I don't know. But I thought it was interesting. Pretty flexible, so I think it'd be pretty easy to put on. I don't remember everything I got. Oh, eyebrow scissors. <laughs> Trim your eyebrows. So I try to use a comb and, and a eyebrow comb, and I can do the right side perfect, so I'm right handed, but the left side I kind of struggle with that. So this is a comb and scissors together. I think I paid a couple bucks for those. It's something like that. No, not much. I got they come in different colors. I picked pink only because the pink ones were cheaper than the other ones. Same thing, different colors. It didn't matter to me what color. And this is supposed to be a tangle, uh, hairbrush for tangled hair. I thought it might be nice to use when my hair is wet. Let's see. Well, it's got a nice texture to the, um, a nice texture to the plastic here. I don't know what this piece is for. Oh, I see. Spacer for it. So your br bristles are apart. Okay. I only got one. I think I should have two because back has a set of two different holes. Okay. Or maybe it just comes with one. I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember what the picture looks like. You know, I'll have to put that together and try it out. Yeah. I thought it came with double, double those bars. Maybe one of my bars is missing. I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about that later. And then I have another thing for ponytails. This is supposed to stretch. How does this work? I don't know how this bugger works. It comes apart like this. Okay. Okay, it comes apart like this. Put your hair in there. Like if my hair is so thick, and then probably just squeeze it down. Okay. Thinking about this one, I, I see my hair tangling in it. We'll see. I'll have to try it. And I got another one. I got a yellow one too. That, this is like a maybe blue, not really maybe blue, more of a blue jean denim color. And this one is kind of a tannish yellow. This one looks better than that blue one. And they're soft, smooshy. And these, these are, I think they're sent them random. You just, they were your cupcake things were like 50 cents or something. I mean, they were, they were under under a buck and I thought well I could use some but you, you didn't get to pick your design so they sent me yellow white striped cupcake paper cup things but I don't care what color they look like and I got another bracelet here let me put a twist tie in there and these are stretchy too the one isn't the one's got looks like a braided faux leather and this has got a little no now that little, um, what do you call it? Charm is metal. Just cheap little plastic beads, but it wasn't very much. Oh, it's got an elephant on this too. This, I like elephants and owls. This one has an elephant. I thought it was really cute. A little set of bracelets. One, two, three, four, five bracelets. Really, really cute. And there's another one of those. Clips in blue. There's a blue one. Like that pink one. And 
There's a, another shade of pink, a darker pink than the other one. I think it's what that was. I think I only ordered, ordered three of them. I don't remember. I think I bought different sizes I did. I think. Yeah, these are all the same. I think I was going to order different sizes. I just went with a big one. I don't remember. It was, a couple, it was about, to me, about three weeks to get my order. Oh, I know what this is. This is a meat thermometer. I think every single thing I bought, with the exception of a couple things I'm going to pull out here in a minute, were like around $2 or under, roughly. This was, wasn't much. Because again, I got 30% because it was my first order, so. Meat. Beef with meat. I have a like a timer with one built into it, but the timer is well, it's worn out. I need to get a new one. So I thought, you know, I'll try this. It's got in Fahrenheit and Celsius. It'll come in handy. You can always use a thermometer. Hopefully it's accurate or pretty close to being accurate. And then let's add these last two things in here. Okay. Um if you've been watching my channel, my channel at all, following me, you know that I have a corporate job and I work from home. And I've been working from home for over 10 years now. And of course, I'm on a computer 10 hours a day, four days a week. And I go through mouse pads. And I decided I wanted a large mouse pad because my mouse, I'm all over the place. And sometimes I run my mouse off the mouse pad and so I decided I'm gonna try me a big one. And I don't remember if this is the one I ordered. Maybe, I don't remember which one I ordered because these were so many, they were so pretty. But I have my keyboard on there and my mouse. I have plenty of room. This is gonna be nice, really, really nice. The picture is a little more blurrier than it looked in the, in the thing, in the ad, or you know, when you're on the website. But it looks like, Watercolor flowers, artsy, like artsy things. And then I ordered this rod. I think it's the last thing I got in here. Oh no, I got some other things in here. Let me grab those out of here. Make sure I got everything. Let's talk about these first. It's another one of those. These right here. It's in a. It's a denim blue color. So I got denim blue. A tea, I think you'd call that a tealish green, and then this yellowish color, all kind of neutral colors. And then I got another pair of earrings here. These are cute. They got little honeybees and dogwood on them. They're very delicate. I just thought they were adorable. These were a little more money than the other stuff. I think these were like $2. Something like that, but I thought those were so cute. Makes me want to get my ears pierced just to wear these. They're adorable. Okay, I love bees too. I love honeybees, owls, elephants, dogs, horses, um, hippopotamuses. <laughs> you name it, I love all animals. Very cute. And then, oh, I got this hummingbird necklace in, in memory of my mother-in-law. She loved hummingbirds. We used to buy her hummingbird everything. And when I seen it, it made me think of her. So I, I ordered it. It's a cute little hummingbird. It's a nice size. It's larger than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be tiny, like, like, like half the size that it really is. So that's really cute. Three dimensional. Oh, that's adorable. And it's got like uh, enamel on it, Tur dark turquoise and like a mint green and it's swirled. It's really cute. Okay. Finally, the last piece here, I bought me a rug for my room. The lady I was following, she bought a one of these rugs and I liked it and I thought well I need a rug 
I don't know about the the quans. I know I thought it'd be really really chintzy. It's not super high quality. I wouldn't say that, but it's it's not bad. And I think it was I think this rug was like twelve dollars. It was the most priciest thing that I bought. It's got these little like little rubber like things maybe to hold on the floor better, and it's a magnolia. I thought it'd be cute in my bedroom here on the floor. I lived in North Carolina for nine years and we had magnolia trees or bushes, what do you want to call them, on our property. And my best friend there in North Carolina, she had a bunch of them. She lived up in the mountains. We lived in Asheville, North Carolina, right by the Blue Ridge Parkway. Actually, she lived right off the exit of one of the um, exits that came through the area. She lived right off of it. Her property backed up to the, to the Federal Reserve. So there would never be a house built close to hers, which was really awesome. And she had, she literally had black bears that visited her on the regular because she used to throw watermelons up there in the summertime. You're not supposed to feed them. But um, she loved her black bears and she had, she called them fairies on her property. I know that sounds like, oh God, these people are loony talking about fairies, but they're actually like a, a unique type of firefly that only live there or they live by water and anyway she had them on our property and we'd go out there in may because when they were breeding and just look like these little floating lights above the above the ground about a foot or so from the ground and it really looked like fairies were carrying these little lanterns because they like they'd like swing back and forth anyway it was really cool anyway i digress so anyway i hope you like my youtube haul i mean my youtube haul <laughs> my team you haul and if you like my channel Please subscribe, like it, thumbs up. Um, if you want to know when I post next, go ahead and hit the bell and you'll get um, notifications. Anyway, this is Lori again for Crafting the Mitten. Until next time, bye.